Hey, it's Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews, and welcome to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews. From Massachusetts, Trillium Brewing, Melcher Street, India Pale Ale, with an alcohol by volume of 7.2% ABV. This is a highly rated, highly sought after IPA, but their double dry hopped version is a much more sought after version. I was unable to find this one. This one's a little more available than their double dry hopped version, which is what I'm hoping to try someday. So for now, I'll settle for second best in their IPA category. Trillium is a brewery that opened a couple of years ago. It was 2012 or something. I thought they said that they haven't been open too long. And uh, within the last year, they actually opened a new brewery uh, in Canton, Massachusetts, uh, which was to support their Boston brewery, which is one of those type of breweries that people wait in long, long lines just to get their hands on some of the beer. And in order to meet the demand, they opened the new brewery in Canton six or seven months or so ago. And now Trillium's a little easier to come by than it was uh, at this time last year. And that's for the benefit of beer enthusiasts like me. So Melcher Street, what do we know about Melcher Street? Boston, of course, is a very historic city. And Melcher Street is located uh, kind of near South Station in the Boston area. For those who know Boston, uh, it's probably over the river, over the, actually over the channel. And uh, the Boston Tea Party didn't happen too far from there back in Revolutionary War times. So, that's a quick little history lesson. Though I'm no expert, but I do know the significance of Melcher Street. So there's the four. All right. Take a look at this beer. I'm pouring it in. Whoa! Aroma! Oh boy! I don't even want to. I can't even. I, it's caught me by surprise. That aroma is pretty strong. So let's check out the rest of this. You can see the pale yellow color with this big white, foamy, frothy head up top. This is one of those heady beers that'll probably uh, linger, uh, fade down a little bit, diminish a bit, may leave a little lacing. Yeah, just a little lacing maybe left in its wake. So. Check out the aroma. As I said, the aroma was superb, and I didn't even put it in my nose yet. And yet, I mean, my goodness, how wrong can you go with an IPA like this? I mean, you're picking up grapefruit. You're picking up pine. You're picking up earthy sensations. You're picking up tropical fruit. I mean, someone who's a hophead are just going to be heaven in heaven just smelling this thing. Can't wait to taste it. But there's definitely, uh, uh, you know, this, this pine character. The grapefruit is really forward more than anything else. I'd say the grapefruit is the strongest sensation. The pine and the, uh, and the uh, tropical fruit characters are really, really playing up really big on the nose. So, and then way below all of it is this sort of toasted malt character, toasted bread character. Gotta have some malts in there, not only hops. You can't just drink hops. You know? Well, some people could, maybe. Let's check out the taste. Mm. You know, it's funny. The aroma was just so pungent. It was just so bold with those grapefruit and pine and, and uh, other types of tropical fruit hops. But the flavor of those hop characters are much more muted, much mellower. But they're there. I mean, they're definitely there. You're not, you're not missing out on those. But... I expected to be really almost puckering up with the amount of aroma I picked up on this. And tasting it though, that toasted malt character, hmm, that toasted malt character kicks in at first. A sweet toasted bread. Um, that, hmm, the little grainy character here. Hmm. Body's sort of on the light side, light to medium, more light. But boy, oh wow, this is so nicely balanced. And it's just one of those beers that uh, you're, you're getting a good dose of hops, those uh, grapefruit and pine hops, and uh, and bitterness is really actually kind of mild. I mean, I was I was expecting to be like puckering up and and just kind of like uh, cross-eyed or something with the amount of aroma I got on this beer. And then the taste, it's much more balanced, much more muted, much more mellow. Hmm. I can see why this is a very sought-after beer. It's really well put together, really well put together beer. Mm. Mm. The toasted bread, the, the, the malt characters, are, the sweetness on that uh, just kind of play up at first. You get all of that at first. And that actually, it's kind of interesting. The aroma is just so hop forward, 
but the taste is not anywhere near as hop forward. You're getting more of a malt forward taste uh, that uh, then the hops sort of roll in behind it and balance things off really well. I mean, this is a dynamite beer. Yeah, I can see why it's doing so well, uh, why so many people look for this beer and why it's highly regarded. Oh my goodness, I should have picked up another one. Yeah. So, I think you picked up my enthusiasm about this beer. Uh, if you didn't, then you may not want to re-watch the video, which I can always use to hit, so re-watch it. Watch it many times and comment down below. So I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video and all my videos, and I also appreciate those who subscribe to my NEBR channel on Facebook. And uh, for now, though, I'm going to go enjoy this beer, and I hope you get a chance to enjoy it too, because Trillium is really only available in Massachusetts. And you, unless you're into the trading scene, you really have to get to Massachusetts, particularly the greater Boston area, to get your hands on anything from Trillium. And I'm lucky I'm about not quite an hour from Boston, so I get to try this stuff out pretty often. So that will do it for today. Uh, this is NEBR. This is the uh, Trillium Melcher Street India Pale Ale. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.